Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, July 29th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Conventional wisdom tells us that athletes don't get better with time because father time always catches up. I mean, hell, even the greatest to ever do it, LeBron James, looks like he's on the other side of his prime now. But somehow, Samuel Haddad seems like he's managing to put the aging process on pause. Heading into his fourth career Olympia, Sammy's bigger and in better condition than he's ever been at any point in his career. His physique has some pop to it, and in the 212 division, that has some wiggle room at the top. I can envision a scenario where he manages to slide in and take advantage of that, possibly even winning. A good friend isn't someone who always tells you what you want to hear and makes you feel better. A good friend is someone who calls you on your bull and does so to push you to do better. So when you see two of the best guys in the sport link up and push each other the way Ray Edmonds and Andre Ferguson are right now, to me, it, I think it symbolizes what the camaraderie of this whole sport is supposed to be about. These two are arguably two of the best three guys in the men's physique division and all they do is compete and try to make each other better. It's a beautiful thing to watch. I think it would be a really cool form of poetic justice to see them have a chance to battle it out with Brandon Hendrickson in a three-man pose down at the Olympia seven weeks from now. When you're a boxing fan, you know just because you're a champion doesn't mean you're winning every round. Sometimes when you're the champ, you need to get tapped on the chin a few times before you wake up. And maybe what happened at the Fitness International was a wake-up call for depending Olympia champ Whitney Jones. The reigning and defending champ is on her way back to defend her title for the first time in a really weird situation because I'm not entirely sure she's the favorite right now. She took a hard shot on the chin back in March at the Arnold. She went to the canvas, and now we're about to find out if she's got enough left in the tank to stand up and do what champions do. All eyes are on you, champ. It's time to see what you got. To be a three-time champion in any sport, including bodybuilding, means that you've officially reached dynasty status as far as I'm concerned. That being said, there's a lot riding on this year's Bikini Olympia for two-time defending champ Angelica Teixeira. Let's just take her run into consideration for a minute. To win her title the first time around, she had to beat the all-time wins leader in the division, and someone who was widely regarded at the time to be the best athlete ever to set foot in the division. She followed that up with a handful of wins at the Arnold on two different continents. And on the way, she did that without even being really challenged. And if she wins again this year, her reign is officially a dynasty. And personally, I can't wait to watch her work because there's nothing I would love more as a sports fan than to see greatness in action. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.